if you're taking the gifts that you've been given, if you're taking your receptivity and your desire, your belief, your intention and your action and smothering it in your passion to do what? To sit around feeling sorry for yourself, unmotivated, unchallenged, overweight, watching too much television, eating too much food, smoking too many cigarettes or God knows what else. If that's how you're applying these principles, then congratulations. You are a success. That's a profound statement. Sad, but profound. Success, ladies and gentlemen, success on your own terms. So if someone wants to take those gifts and apply them in such a way, then so be it. He or she is successful. But if you want to live a better life, if you want to live the best life you can, you're just dealing with the same simple principles as that guy who's sitting on that couch. You see, success isn't built upon the foundations of instant gratification. It's built on the substance and the foundations of receptivity, desire, belief, intention, and taking the action that moves you from where you are to where you want to be. You see, we know most, if not all, of the answers to life's big questions. It's just that we, uh, we either modify them or worse still, we don't ask them at all. Why? Why would you be reluctant to ask the question? Well, with the question comes the answer. And if the answer is the truth, then with the truth comes change. And with change comes fear. In the Action Sandwich, I want to help you understand that success is in that space between the question and the answer. That's where your life resides, in between the question and the answer. You can ask any questions you want. There are many times where the question and the answer are almost immaterial because you can ask anything and you can answer anything. But it's the doing in between. It's the living in between the question and the answer where success lies. How you handle what goes on between that question and the answer is what we call living. Stop waiting to live. If you do not get up off of your arse and actually make the sandwich, you will not eat. Stop getting ready to live. You see, ultimately, it doesn't matter if the divorce is pending or the cancer is spreading or the ship is sinking. Ultimately, what matters is what are you going to do about it. You have to do to get done. So what are you going to do about it? 